All right, so now what, what we want to talk about in this segment is just some, some protective things for your floors, some protective coatings for your windows, and just general bits and pieces like that. Because you're going to get all this trouble to paint all your walls, the last thing you want is to pull up that drop sheet or not have one down and clean up, sweep up and think, oh no, look at that carpet, now I need a new carpet. Oh, it would have been cheaper to get someone in. I don't used to have that problem. This is a film that you can buy that we put on a masking machine, but you won't want to buy one of them. And when you tear it off, it won't work. We usually bite it. Here we go. Try not to do that. Just you can cut it off with Stanley knife, so it's not so gross. How yeah, this works, it's very good for windows, over your computer, or something like that. And it just folds down a bit differently. So it folds from it out, and you can stick it on with some tape as easy as way for you guys to use it. We do have these what they call masking machines, and they hold the tape on one end, the roll on the other end, they put two and two together, and you get one. Quite quite handy to grab a roll of that if you've got a lot of things that you don't have a lot of drop sheets. It can be an inexpensive way of covering up. Waterproof, but lightweight, so you do want to make sure it's stuck over everything properly. There's also, you get small rolls of paper for the same thing. Sometimes you can't fill it, the drop sheet under a drawer with tiles. So sometimes these taped around the edges will stop you getting it on the tiles. 20 minutes to put this down, or 10 minutes to put this down, a few dollars on newspaper. You can use exactly the same, just we use a lot of it. Stick it down, take your time. When you've finished your job, let your tour dry, pull this up, you're done. Quick clean, you're done. Otherwise, you're sitting there and you're always scratching up the paint. And it will work you. And it will just really make you know that you didn't spend that 10 minutes. The other important thing, preparation, your drop sheets. You can see we're working over one now. These are just a heavy calico, I guess. They're all good paint shops sell them. Sometimes they're not that expensive if you can get them on sale. You can use general house sheets, old sheets. Or blankets just be wary if these guys normally are sealed a little bit so you do get a couple of seconds to get if you do spill something to get them up so if you do spill something still take them up but you do want to really protect those floors because if you don't protect your floors you are going to be in a lot of trouble because it's going to cost you more than it would have just to get somebody to do the room so that's those and while we're talking about that or it can be a new segment whatever i would like I just want to quickly talk about paint and paint colours. So these are our stains down the front. I mix a lot by eye, so I go in and look at your wall colour, I can match that by eye, I know which stain goes in which, which colour. Okay, unless it's a dark colour, we can mix our own, which we might do a little bit on so you understand colour later. With paint, it's super important. This is very important. You can buy the best paint out there. That's not a problem. Go and buy it, you've got lots of money, go and spend it, whatever else. Don't always be roped in that the dearest paint is necessarily the best. It could be a different brand. Don't get roped in with advertising that they're washable or they're this or they're that. The general rule of thumb is no flats are very washable. The reason is that there is a coarse pigment in there and when you wash it over you get a shiny patch and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So sure you might be able to wipe it over but it's certainly not washable. I call washable getting a rag and giving the wall a good wash. So I, I, don't, I don't believe that there's too many paints out there that are flat, that are washable, and I'd love for someone to show me what it is. So that's that. You've got undercoats, you've got water-based undercoats, oil-based undercoats, oil-based top coats, and there's systems that need to go together. If you don't do it right, the paint's gonna fall off, and your local painter is gonna charge you a lot of money because he really doesn't want to mess. It's gonna be hard work. You gotta make sure you get that right. Don't always listen to the guys at the hardware shop. I'm not saying they're all wrong. I'm saying a lot of them are told by people that haven't really had the experience that I or other professional painters have. So all the way through these videos, we're gonna to talk to you about the little tips and tricks you can get away with, what you can do and what you can't do that paint companies won't tell you. You've got to remember that the more paint you buy, the more money they make. So I'll try and teach you a few tips and tricks. Sometimes your flat paints, for instance, your ceiling paints, you don't need the dearest paint there is generally go with cheaper paint and you'll probably get a better result. Your wall paint spends some more money on it. And generally speaking, go one off the top level, you might have four tiers in that brand of paint, come down one. This generally will save you a lot of money and it will generally give you just the same look. 
can be a trade version of it if you can find it. But if you can't and you really need to, then go to the top line, I'm sure you'll be happy with the result. So basically guys, when we get into paints, we'll go right through it, we'll go through colours, what you need, what you don't need for your walls, your ceilings, and your woodwork in a general bedroom. And we'll start with that, and from there, you'll, your knowledge will get greater and greater, and you go through the rest of your house, and we'll do exteriors as well. All right, guys, I hope I haven't confused you too much with your paints. We go down, enjoy your time at the paint shop, try not to get too confused, and if you need more help, watch some of the following segments about paint choice, and that will really clarify a lot. Thanks, guys.